gets old. I love this thing. So, just put the throttle body spacer on. Um, you can definitely feel a uh, more responsive pedal. You know, it's not a huge difference, but you can definitely tell. I'm happy with it. It's not bad. And it's not bad for you know, 10, maybe 15 minutes worth of work. So, so simple. Spacer from Air Raid. Oh. Here to see what this thing does. So we we'll open her up. Obviously, you got your daughter box spacer, VNC sticker, uh, bolts, and o ring. Instructions. Oh, a sticker. Can't forget those stickers. All right, let's do it.
got everything hooked up. Let's give it a test fire. This guy back. Let's take it for a little test drive. with the throttle body spacer. It's not you know, super loud, but it's there. It's very, very small. Yeah, interesting. All right, so with the throttle body spacer, what I did to show the difference in throttle response is I, I have two clips, um, and it was actually in the same exact location. Um, I had it in rear wheel drive, or all wheel drive, I'm sorry, um, both times and just a simple off the brake onto the gas and then what I did is I took those two clips and I cut them down to quarter speed um, I personally went through frame by th frame to see how long until the throttle kicked in um, but I put the video right after this and then you can see it yourself but in the first one it was about 35 frames roughly um, from when I hit the pedal until the car took off and when I, after the throttle body spacer um, it was about 22 frames so it's obviously not a huge thing but it definitely does have a difference in your throttle response and I found a little bit of way that I can show you that um, so yeah here you go